the purpose of the Zionist project was the erasure of the Palestinian people. One of the families waiting for aid is that of Amira Jaji. In October 2023, they fled Gaza City to a refugee camp in Rafah after their home was bombarded and their neighborhood destroyed. Experts say plans to displace and transfer these Palestinians began decades ago. While the refugees in Rafah ponder their day after moment, that day came for Yaqub Audi in the spring of 1948, when Zionist forces expelled them from their home in Lifta outside Jerusalem, leaving their homes uninhabitable and banning them to this day from ever returning. <laughs> Yaqub keeps his family property deeds, photos, and a house key from Lifta close to his heart. Haifa's old Arab neighborhoods today are sprinkled with Arabic name signs here and there, and old photographs on the homes of those who were driven out. South of Haifa, Yaffa was another major Palestinian port city that was forcibly depopulated by Zionist forces. Sami Abushadi's family was among the few that managed to remain. The main uh, tools for uh, ethnic cleansing of Palestine uh, between 1947 and 1949 was violence by different Zionist terrorist groups. At that time, the British called them terrorist groups. All the important Palestinian cities, Yaffa, Haifa, Akka, Lid, Ramli, people were expelled. If you are imagining what is, what is now being done to the Palestinians in Gaza, so they are pushing all the Palestinian population towards the city of Rafah, towards the border. And they said clearly that the, their strategic plan is expulsion. And they said that the preferable scenario is total expulsion of 2.3 million people from Gaza to Sinai. And then they not also want to keep them in Sinai. They want to spread them all over the world. The vast majority of Gaza's new refugees are descendants of families expelled from what is now Israel, including Amira Jaji and her family. <laughs> وتقول اللي يجي على الجملة بسموها جملة الناس أشلاء في الشوارع يعني والحمد لله شردوا منها وطلعت أيامها أبوي كان له حسكة أخذها وطلعها في الحسكة عن طريق البحر. The majority were expelled through the sea because Jaffa is a coastal city. Those who went south, I'm talking about tens of thousands of people, were expelled to Gaza. Gaza is only Gaza is only 65 kilometers far from Jaffa. Experts say 
Today's events are a continuation of a seven-decade-long Israeli practice of forcing Palestinians out of their homes and then barring them from ever returning. A total of 12,000 Gazans were let into Jordan in 1969 and temporarily settled in a refugee camp near Jerash. The Gaza camp is the poorest, most marginalized camp in Jordan. And that's because the residents of that camp, they don't have the national ID that they need to allow them to work. Nazal is a co-founder of a cooperative that helps Gazan women refugees in Jordan find culturally relevant employment. Amal Aradi is the descendant of Gazan Palestinians who were driven out of their homes twice by Israeli forces. أخوي دائما بلوم أبوي أنت إيش اللي طلعك ليش أنت بتطلع كان أنت ضليتك في بلدك بس بقول لي والله يا بل اللي إحنا شفنا والتدمير اللي شفنا والذبح يعني خلانا نطلع نصب عنا وكنا إحنا صغار وما معنا أي وسيلة دفاع عن النفس فحاليا لما شفنا فعلا صار في غزة وشو صار فيهم يعني عن جد قلت يعني معك حق إنه أنتوا طلعتوا يعني كان إحنا ما نوجدنا فعليا so you can see over the past 75 years, consistent attempts to erase Palestinian identity. Simple ways like co-opting hummus. <laughs> but Tatriz is a way for us to affirm the existence and continuity of the Palestinian identity. So now you see symbols like the watermelon, like embroidery, like the kefir, even without embroidery, being used within the global solidarity movement and within the Palestinian diaspora as a further confirmation, not only do we exist, but now everyone knows that we exist. Over the years, Jordan became a way station for millions of Palestinians pushed out of their homes and expelled into other countries. I am a descendant of a Jaru Sulamite family. God bless his soul, Abdul Hai, my father. He settled in Katamon, which is in the west part of Jerusalem, which was occupied in 48. So we were forced to leave or we were kicked out in the war of 48. These are parts of the structural and architectural plans of our home in Katamon. And I see the stamp date, and it says, City Engineering Department, 4th of January, 1945. Well, this is, which I was very happy to see or find, my father's signature as an owner. And that's his name here, Abdul Hay Khalil Atiyah. Muhammad Atiyah runs a farm in the Jordan Valley, right across from his birthplace in Jericho. He is one of up to four million Palestinian refugees in Jordan who await the moment they can return to their former homes. And we left Jericho when I was 13 during the war of 67. One of the things that uh, is kept in my memory is how we left all, the whole family. We were 12 children and my mom, and maybe some of the neighbors, all backed in one vehicle. Well, I remember another thing that uh, Israeli planes were bombing people as they were leaving, talking about things repeating itself. And one family that was killed with an airplane, an Israeli airplane, was killed here, not far from the farm. Across the Jordan River, in the occupied West Bank, Israel has walled in and isolated most urban areas and declared many rural communities closed military areas. In Samia, a community of 300, was declared a closed military zone in May 2023, 
and its residents expelled. In 2023 alone, a dozen such communities were banished at gunpoint. The people of Ain Samia now live in barracks less than 15 kilometers from their former homes. في السبعة وستين استحلونا إسرائيل بعدها في التسعة وستين صاروا رحلوا فينا هان ويجيبونا من هان ويرحلونا من هان في التسعة وستين عطونا أربعة وعشرين ساعة أطلع رام الله جبنا سيارة بتسريح اللي تعدى السيارة ما بطلع وطلعونا حطونا في سامي ولا تاريخ خمستاعش شهر خمسة أجت الشرطة أجت سيارتين جيش وثلاث سيارات مستوطنين من السبعة وستين إلى تاريخ اليوم والله ما تريحت ساعة في الليل منهم والله إن إحنا مهاجرين يا أما يذبحونا فيها يا أما نعيش فيها واحدة من هالثنتي وكل هذا وصبرين وبنقول يا رب الروح بس يا رب الروح نرجع عذورنا والله أعتقد إني أرجع عذاري بس لو يعني بدي أخذ الخيمة هذه ونصبها عن داري لأن نظورنا مشوه الحمد لله رب العالمين ماكل قزائف ما آلت يا حالي فحنرجع نأخذ خيمتنا ونقعد إحنا والأولاد ونكمل بقية العمر زضاي العمر الحمد لله إيش بدنا نسوي؟